Hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial in the Cocoa Exploration series where we talk about a topic in Cocoa in hopefully under 5 minutes or less. Today we're going to be talking about the Cocoa bindings and how to make them a little more type safe for a Swifty world. So Cocoa bindings, if you aren't familiar with them, we've talked about them earlier in the Cocoa series that I've done, but essentially it allows you to bind your view and your model objects together uh, with very minimal code. So here we've bound a text field and a slider together, and as I change the values in the view, the uh, model value, uh, in which case I've called scale here, changes as well, and if the model changes, then it also updates the other items in the view. As you can see, the slider changes along with it. So um, the, uh, the feature is quite nice, and uh, it's pretty nice to have in Coco in particular. The one downside that we have is that it is a stringly typed. Uh, so if I change the name, for example, in the model, then this key path here is no longer valid. And the, you know, the compiler won't tell me about this. I'm just going to have to find out when something inevitably breaks in the program. But we can make this a little bit more type safe using Swift key paths. So if I make an extension on NS object, and I'm going to just copy the implementation of bind. So here I'm going to change this method signature just a bit. So it's just going to be key path. And we're going to pass in a Swift key path. And the Swift key path takes both a root and a value as generic types. And I'm just going to put those on my method as well. And the observable type is going to be the root item. And um, yeah, so that'll be that. And then I simply need to call into bind. So I'm calling the Cocoa implementation here, where we're going to pass binding. We're going to pass the observable. We'll pass our options. And now we just have to figure out how we can get the key path out of um, the Swift key path. And there is not really an obvious way to do this, but there is a somewhat hidden way, and I'm not really sure how well supported this is, but it does come up if you search for the exact method name in the uh, open quickly menu sort of thing. So I'm gonna call this KVC key path, and I'm going to access the key path, and there is a method called underscore KVC key path string. And what this will give me is a string value representing the key path, which then I can pass into our little method here. Now we should probably also uh, warn about some things. Uh, for example, this method will not return you anything if you're not exposing the, uh, the values over uh, basically through uh, Objective-C dynamic uh, method dispatch. So if you don't expose them using at objective C, they won't work. So I'm just going to put in a little message here to say uh, it doesn't contain at objective C uh, exposed values. And that'll at least tell me that I'm doing something wrong if I happen to be trying uh, bindings on an object that doesn't support it. All right, so now what can we do? Well, we can go back here and we'll implement our new bind method. So I can use the same dot value, pass in model, and now I can use Coco, uh, or sorry, Swift key paths, and I can do this in a type safe way. So I'll just copy and paste this, and I'll run, and we can see, ta-da, we have this great bindings implementation here. And what's great about this is that if I now change the the wording in or you know the name of any of my properties and I try to compile again it will fail to compile and it will tell me that this you know isn't valid and I have to change the uh, have to change the name because the key path no longer matches but it is a great way for the compiler to tell you that you've done something wrong anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial and I'll see you guys in another one see you then